My name is Professor Esther Gichero. I am the Deputy Vice Chancellor in charge of Finance, Planning and Administration at the Cooperative University of Kenya. Uh, this is my second year in this job and uh, we are in charge of uh, all issues to do with the administration of the university, uh, financial issues uh, in, the, in the university and we also do the planning, uh, the future plans of the university is still under my docket. We have some projects that we have been uh, carrying out, uh, especially in full infrastructure development and this is because over the years the university has grown. We started as a middle level college when we had very few students of about 800 and then translated to uh, translated to a uh, university college. Uh, the students number kept increasing and then 2016 when we became a chartered university the students uh, the number of students multiplied and therefore uh, this was uh, hitting hard on the infrastructure that we have. So because of that we started building uh, infrastructure, for example the classrooms. We have a lecture theatre that we just completed which can accommodate 2,000 students and above and uh, that has come in a good way uh, to offload the pleasure that was coming up because of the increase in the number of students because currently we have close to about uh, 6,000 students and this is a, a big number uh, given that when we started the University College we had only 800 students. Uh, we also have um, other projects that we are doing. For example, let me also talk about the, the, the security of the university. Uh, we have also uh, we have a good security in this university to ensure that uh, all our visitors and all our students, they are well protected. So we have outsourced security and we also have the administration police uh, who support our security issues. And uh, we also have our own staff who have been employed as uh, security officers. And so we are very much prepared for the big numbers that are coming to the Cooperative University of Kenya. We still have other projects that we are doing. Uh, if you can look outside, you will see there is construction going on. Uh, for example, we have a learning resource centre. This is a huge project that we are bringing up and um, it is going to accommodate not just the students but many events uh, including stakeholders, our stakeholders uh, being involved to come and showcase uh, their innovations uh, through this project. So the project is huge because it is going to cost us about 3.6 billion Kenya shillings and we have started with the phase one of the project which is a library because we thought that was the most critical um, uh, infrastructure that we need currently with a growing number of students. And uh, the phase one project is uh, going on very well. It's being funded by the government of Kenya through the National Treasury. And uh, we believe even as we finish the first phase, they are going to continue um, funding. The government is going to continue funding uh, the other phases until completion and uh, this is going to be a state of the art facility once it is completed and there are many uses that we are going to put it uh, into. Uh, along with that you will see that uh, we are even modernizing our gate. Um, our gate is just about to be completed. We have for a long time done with a very small ordinary gate but now as a university, uh, like I said, chartered in the in, a in October 2016, we need to modernize some of these old facilities. On the other side, we are also working on the sports facilities. Like I said, uh, students are multiplying, and students, apart from the classroom work, they need recreation. So we have come up with, um, uh, with a modern sports facility, uh, which we are doing on the, the other side of the, of the campus. 
and uh, this is, is also going to accommodate many of the sport activities that our students want to undertake. And uh, to enhance security, we have also come up with uh, a lighting system where we have the high mast lights and uh, these are going to help because you know students are students. When we put the low mast lights, uh, most of the times we come in the morning and we find they are not there. But now we have come up with the high mast lights and the compound is very well lit and the students are also happy about it. Uh, our students council, they are happy about those, uh, those kinds of development. The other very important project that we have is the sewer system for the university. We have been having a sewer system where we were using the ponds when we had the smaller population of students. Uh, and uh, this was not going to be sufficient uh, to serve us as the population grows. And therefore, we have uh, been working together with some of our stakeholders and uh, specifically, we requested the Cooperative Bank of Kenya to work with us and collaborate with us in this project because the Cooperative Bank has also been our collaborator for a long time. They have their own uh, training management center just adjacent to our lad, and therefore we have been sharing some of the facilities like the sewerage system. And so when we requested them, they are going to fund the project. In fact, they have funded it 100% and it is ongoing. And uh, this is going to cost us 96 million Kenya shillings. And uh, with that support, we really want to say thank you very much to the Cooperative Bank uh, for showing that kind of guessa to support the university in this endeavor. So we, we, when we complete this sewerage system, uh, we will not have any complaints anymore from our neighbors that maybe our sewer, uh, sewer, uh, sewer, uh, sewerage outflow is flowing into their compound. That will be a thing of the past. We don't work in isolation. We have been working with our stakeholders. And uh, of course, the students are our main uh, stakeholders. But we also have the cooperative movement in Kenya, which has also been working with us uh, very closely. And also other institutions of higher learning. We have been working very closely with them. And I want to invite them to our graduation uh, tomorrow, the 6th of December, 2019. This is our fourth graduation since we, uh, we, we acquired the charter in 2016. And so we would like to welcome all our stakeholders, all our neighbors, all our friends to come and join us during this occasion, uh, which we value very much when we are graduating our, our students and uh, we, we want to really welcome everybody. And uh, I want at this juncture to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year, all those who have been working with us and even all those stakeholders who have not worked with us and are planning to work with us in the future. We wish all of them very uh, happy Christmas and prosperous New Year. Thank you.